Hi. Hi. How is your method validation going? Well, I'm evaluating the linearity and I have already used the a visual evaluation of the calibration plot and I have constructed the residuals plot. But I'm still quite not sure about the linearity. Have you got any suggestions? Yes, the visual evaluation and plot of residuals can be useful in clear-cut situations. However, for more difficult cases, you can try applying statistical tests. Uh, for example, tests based on F-test, which compares the variances, can be more objective and there are several methods you can choose from. Let me show you some of them. In a guideline for calibration in analytical chemistry, IUPAC has suggested a simplified version of Mandel's fitting test, which can be used only if the variances of the two calibration functions are very similar. Here is the original form of Mandel's test, which compares the fit of a linear model with the fit of a nonlinear model. And it does it by using the uh, residual standard deviation, which can be found using this equation, where we have residual as the difference between the experimental signal value and the calculated signal according to the ca calibration function. And um, Mondel's test needs more calibration samples than in a regular use. And if the calculated F value is higher than the tabulated F value, the linear model cannot be applied for this range. Hmm, okay, interesting. But it seems somewhat difficult to use because I would have to estimate the nonlinear model. Are there any alternatives? Yes. Uh, for example, the goodness of fit test, uh, which compares the mean sum of squares due to the factors of the model we have chosen, expressed as the difference between the signal calculated according to the calibration function minus the average signal on a corresponding concentration level. And also the mean sum of squares due to the residuals, which are again the experimental signal minus the signal calculated using the calibration function. And um, if the calculated F value is higher than the tabulated F value, the model's model uh, differs systematically from the data. However, the goodness of fit test can be a bit too optimistic. And I would use the lack of fit test, which is also suggested by the IUPAC validation guideline. Uh, here we have the mean sum of squares due to the lack of fit of the model, uh, which is expressed as the difference between the average signal minus the signal calculated using the calibration function. And also the mean sum of squares due to the random error, which is the difference between the experimental signal and the average of those experimental signals on corresponding concentration level. And um, if we have calculated the F value higher than the tabulated F value, the model cannot be considered fit for the data we have. Thank you. I have now much better idea how to estimate linearity. You're welcome. However, uh, I wouldn't use statistical tests alone rather as complementary to the visual evaluation of the calibration graph and the plot of residuals.